Hello there, I'm Chris Heilman. Today I want to show you the Microsoft Edge tools for Visual Studio Code extension that allows you to debug a web project directly in Visual Studio Code using the developer tools that you're used to without having to leave the editor. The first thing to do in any project is to start a local server and normally would do that from the terminal, but there is already a terminal built into Visual Studio Code so you don't need to go there. You can actually start running your server. In this case, I do a PHP server because I need PHP and we got a server running. Now to see what's going on here, this is where the extension comes in. You click this icon of Edge and it starts the extension, it takes a while in this case, and then you create a new instance of Microsoft Edge just by clicking this plus icon here. This does everything in the background that you expect it to do, run the debugger, get this, the engine started, and now you got a server, uh, now you got a browser running inside Visual Studio Code here with a full image that you can resize any way that you need to. Right now it's navigating to about blank, which makes no sense, so we're actually navigating to localhost 8000 as well. And then you can see the project running directly inside Visual Studio Code and you can interact with it like you would do in a browser. This is a full browser instance. It's not a video or anything like that. And you can click on all the things and see what the functionality of this project is right now. In this case, it's an image gallery of cool images on my hard drive. You can see that the server is running already here as well, loading the different images. And when there is some slowness that it actually finds problems with it. And you can also navigate to the network pane here to inspect the network activity. So if there's some problem, for example, if one of them could not be loaded, I could check out why that's happening here and see the uh, see like I would do in the, in the browser, all the things that are happening in the network pane. Most of the time we actually live in an elements pane though. So we're actually navigating, for example, to the body here, and then we can change the background color to something else. We get a nice color picker. And you can see already what the biggest change here is. Like if you do this in the browser, you jump to the sources pane if you click the name of the CSS. Here it already does that with the color picker. And if I click on that one, it opens the right CSS file for me to edit in Visual Studio Code. So I don't need to use that little editor that you normally have in the developer tools. The other thing that is pretty great here is that if you go to another section, for example, in the document here, that has a different class, a different CSS file attached to it, you can click on that CSS file and it will edit it directly in Visual Studio Code as well. So you don't actually need to know which file is affecting which element, but this is automatically done for you by clicking these links here. One thing that people have been asking for for a long time is actually having a, a console log as well. So in my slideshow JS here, like a lot of people would do, I got a console log counter here, which is not the best way to debug, but it's very common on the web. And in the past, you couldn't see this in this extension because we don't have the console tab here. We didn't think it makes sense to add the console tab because there's already a console inside Visual Studio Code. So instead of actually running a console in the developer tools, you can go to the output here and you can then select DevTools console here and that would give you the console log messages that you see happening here directly live. So if you now navigate to different, different things around, it updates the info file down here. So everything that you would do in the browser normally, you can do inside Visual Studio Code and you have a direct connection of the browser developer tools and your editor inside Visual Studio Code. If you want to file an issue, if you find a problem with it, please do it on GitHub at the VS Code Edge DevTools repo. We also, we also like pull requests. It would, would be great if you could contribute. We've got a code of conduct. We got all the things that you would expect from an open source project. And when you look at the pull requests or the issues that we have right now, we're actually doing a good job triaging them according to needs from the user. So most of the new features that came in were requests that came from people. So we're filing here bugs, we give them prioritization so you can see which ones are going to be the next interesting ones as well. And there's also good first issues if you want to contribute. These are probably something to try out because it's not that hard to do. We also have milestones where you can actually see what's coming next. And once we release them, we actually give credit to the people who actually asked for these bugs as well. And that's it. If you want to try it out, again, it's on the marketplace. I think it's a very, very simple way to debug a project without having to leave the editor and without having to jump between instances of, uh, of the terminal, of the browser and of Visual Studio Code because you can do it all inside Visual Studio Code now.